Hey, it's a Canadian Kid back. We're doing lesson four of Forging for Noobs. Today's lesson is going to be on um, raining fusion coils and instant respawn. Uh, some of the levels that this might be familiar to if you ever played D-Day back on Last Resort, where the fusion coils are raining. I'm going to show you how to imitate that. It kind of goes like what we had before. But first off, let's start with some basic concepts. I'm going to spawn some fusion coils. One, two... Three, six, five. Oh wait, I think I got it backwards. Crap. Okay, normally you blow up fusion coils. Boom, they're gone. La di 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 da. And now you just got an empty spot, and well, it's no fun. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna learn how to make them spawn instantly by hitting X, X, going on it and highlighting it, going to the setup. You can choose how many you want to be at minimum runtime. If you set the minimum runtime to maximum, that makes every single one of them respawn instantly. See, they're back. No matter how many times I blow them up, they'll still come back. Because they're on instant respawn. Let's see what happens if I punch them. Okay, note the cell punching six fusion coils from the top doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I'm going to show you the part two of this exercise. This is the one I was talking about on D-Day. If you ever played it, where fusion coils are raining. It's actually quite a good map. Um, got your turrets on the wall, raining fusion coils. It's well done. Uh, kind of goes like what you would see in the last one, the forge glue. Only thing is, these ones can be forge glued in this spot. Well, kind of. Uh, we'll call it respawn glue, because they're going to respawn wherever we start them thing is fusion coils aren't glued so they're gonna fall but they'll always respawn in the exact same spot and then they'll always fall to the exact same spot so that's what we're gonna do today so I'm building us a little tower right now I'm building us a little tower okay now what I'm doing is I'm uh, taking the fusion coils I'm gonna be putting them on top of the barrels and now what they're gonna be doing is what I like to call for uh, respawn gluing. It means every time they respawn, they're going to respawn in that exact spot. They're going to respawn nowhere else but there. In turn, what that does is when they blow up, they're going to spawn right back up there. See? We'll drop them down, they'll blow up. But while we're waiting for them to respawn, we'll go over here. And there goes one. See? It's falling from the top. So they're spawning from up here, so this is where we're calling glue or er, spawn gluing. Whatever the hell I want to call it. <laughs> and they're falling. And that's kind of what you see in D Day. It's good for some maps, like if you don't want people hiding in certain areas, you can drop fusion coils on them constantly. Uh, you can do it with propane tanks and batteries too. It doesn't work as good because if you do it with a propane tank, they barely ever blow up from drops and plasma batteries you got about a 50% chance I don't recommend trying it but if you got some fusion coils around your plasma battery it works just fine so your call on that one and here we go waiting on this okay and as you can see I'm making a death a death hallway uh, delete that propane tank. Oh, fuck, I'll just blow it up. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have our magical death hallway. Delete some of this roof on here. The walls don't even need to be here. Some other ways you can get them to spawn up in the air, if you have more than one person, you drop the fusion coil, and then have your friend blow it up. Wherever the fusion coil blows up, that's where it will respawn. Another way to do it if you're not a good of a shot is you hold like a crate or something up in the air, put the fusion coils on top, wait about four seconds for them to glue, and then drop them. And then they respawn up there every time. So you got our hallway. It's a death hallway. You can probably walk through it every now and then, but whatever. As you can see, we still have our instant respawn on five. So watch what happens if we go and delete 
the five original ones that we started with, though. So. Here we go, or six original, however many we had. And now, as you can see, the respawn is still on max, so all five are falling. I set it to seven, which is every single one of them. Now our death hallway has become a, well, pretty much a wall. There's no way you're getting through there alive, unless you're invincible. Even if you're invincible, I don't know if you can walk through there, because the explosions will probably push you back. Let's stop that. Well, end it there. Take off the instant respawn, so they're going to fall however long I set them. Okay. And not only fusion coils are the thing that can be respawned, Pretty much any equipment or anything that blows up can be set to instant respawn. Vehicles may take a little bit longer, but one fun one to do is with airlifts. Um, another good one is trip mines. If you actually toss about 40 trip mines on a map and blow them up, it will actually lag out the map. Any airlift or shield doors, if they were on the map, will break. That's pretty cool. As well, if you're on snow battle, it'll break the turrets. And now we have a million airlifts. That's all, folks. Have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this training video on instant respawn and raining fusion coils. Have a wonderful day. I may be small, I may look sweet. I may be sweet. Fuck off you stupid cum. Ding 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 